Okay. Oh, okay, spirit. Three wands. I'm going to lovers reverse the empress. If this is what spirit wants to sell, I'm just got to bring it out. Seven of wands, the empress, three wands, lovers reverse. Y'all empresses who are risen this empress energy, male or female. There, um, there's men who are in this more of a feminine energy. Could be dealing with the Taurus or a Libra. Seven, three, that's ten of wands. This is ending is here. You're ending, you're coming up. You're ending some sort of hardship in your life. You could be getting ready to go somewhere, travel somewhere, make movements. Somebody is getting ready to make movements. Um, they're making set plans to come towards some sort of empress energy. Okay. Um, you guys could be in separation. Somebody is getting ready to leave, a, depart a situation. Whoever this is is standing their ground. They're like, um, I'm not backing down this time. I'm going to hold my ground, stand stand my ground. Some of you guys are setting boundaries. This figure has got his back turned. So this person, this is somebody that's getting ready to do something, a departed situation. Could be an arrival also. Some of you guys, this is a business trip. Somebody's standing there confidently, standing their ground after dealing with some sort of negative karma. Lovers reverse. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody's going to depart and leave and let go of a karmic situation. Person, place, or thing. Could be a job, too. Environment, location. Doesn't have to always be a person. The Empress. And this is, you're doing this based around your own self-love, your own self-care, knowing your own worth, knowing your You've, you've, you've come into your own and, and you've um, expanded and, and you're growing. You see this growth. This is nice. This is Taurus energy here. There's growth. Fertility. Some of you guys are pregnant, having babies, mothers, motherhood. Okay. This is growth. Nice. You could have recently set a boundary with somebody. You're putting your foot down and show me this lover's reverse. False twin flame. This is, so this is a karmic false twin flame lover's reverse. Seven of pentacles. There's that seven of pentacles again we've seen in the first reading. You're planning. Someone's planning. Just period. Planning. Patiently planning for the future. Making plans. Some growth is here, some sort of growth. Some fertility. You're in it for the long haul. You're thinking about long term, long term future. Lovers reverse false twin flame. Yeah, it is, it's not working. It's not going to work. And whatever um, situation this is, or relationship this is with the false, is breaking your heart. You've stumbled upon some type of painful truth. Okay, could be a death in um, someone's family recently. Some, some sort of heartbreak. You're like, I gotta do what's best for me, for my future. And this twin flame, uh, this false twin flame is not cutting it. It's not gonna work. This is someone or a situation or an environment that keeps you off of balance, throws your energy off incompatibility in the long run give me one more false twin thing six of ones and you recognize that somebody recognizes that some of you guys are attracting um, your actual twin flame or your divine counterpart into your life there's the world there so this is a new cycle starting there could have been some sort of false alarm. I'm getting false alarm. Okay, give me um, a card here. Let's see what we can. What else we can get? Spirit, tell us more. What is this three of swords here for? 
false twin flame, not a divine connection, just a lesson. Three of Swords. That's called karma. Somebody's dealing with karma or somebody, devil in disguise. Somebody got their karma. You could have had to break somebody's heart or let somebody down or tell somebody some painful truth. Or you feel like you need to do that soon. Or you're planning. Somebody's planning. Somebody's planning. That's called karma. So a lot of y'all karmics could be heartbroken right now. Three of swords. Yeah. Four of swords reverse. Very restless. Uneasy. Having trouble resting. Having trouble sleeping. Could be having trouble thinking. Could be feeling burnt out. Somebody's very stressed and restless. Uneasy. Five of pentacles. You could have kicked somebody out. Okay. Or left somebody out in the cold. Somebody could be stressing over their health. Someone's in bad health mentally because... Yeah, somebody's tripping and in bad health because... Um, very emotional, depressed. Because they're you're happy or they see you're doing... You're doing good. You're happy. You're, there's some sort of happiness here. On your own. This is some individual happiness. Whoever this is can't um, interfere in your happiness. Somebody looks like they were trying to stress you out also. Looks like to me. But they've gotten some sort of karma. Somebody's getting some sort of karma. Some devil in disguise. Okay. Okay. 